Now it's not very often in my videos I use the term marketing dream, but John Rahm winning the US Open on Father's Day just a few months after signing for Callaway whilst using the new Callaway Apex TCB irons is a marketing dream. So let's do it, and let's do it now. Hi everyone, it's James Robinson here guys. First things first, I'd like to warmly welcome you back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today we are playing golf with US Open champion John Rahm's golf clubs. Sort of. Um, you see, today is Monday the 21st of June and yesterday John Rahm won the Open and it was Father's Day. So, um, happy Father's Day Dad. But after that, John Rahm shipped me his golf clubs so I could use them today. Um, that's not true. But if you believe that, then they're pretty much the same. So we're going to go with something along those lines. These are the Callaway Apex TCB irons. And I don't know why I've overlooked them for so long. It took John Rahm to win the US Open for me to think, actually, I should probably do a video on those golf clubs. So, um, yeah, here we are. Guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button below. Leave us a like to this video so I know you do enjoy this type of content. And also get in the comments below, what am I going to shoot for five holes here at Woolley Park Golf Club with US Open champion John Rahm's golf clubs? Ish. Five iron off the first tee because it's like a US Open out here. It's playing windy and difficult. So let's keep the ball in play. Well, that's a great start. That was a club twirl as well. I didn't even mean that, but really enjoyed that one. And so for this video, guys, we are going to concentrate on John Rahm's irons, as I've said about three times already, the Callaway Apex TCB Forged irons. But to make it a little bit more exciting, I have stuck the Callaway Epic Speed Driver and 3-wood in the bag, because it's fair to say that they kind of helped him as well. And the putter, um, I haven't got the putter, but that was red hot, wasn't it? 17 and 18. Oh. Now also, guys, I've got to say that I haven't always been John Rahm's biggest fan. Like, I've never disliked him, I've never really thought anything about him, but sometimes when you've seen the spats he's had and the club throws and things like that, I've just thought, yeah. But actually, looking at it even deeper, I think it just shows how much it actually means to him. I can imagine that winning your first major on Father's Day after just having a child would be quite remarkable. Isn't it funny how that happens as well? Like when Danny Willett won the Masters, just had a baby. Maybe it goes to show that... Um, that there's more to life than golf. Don't tell some people that. And so guys, if you look at the left-hand side of your screen now, or the right-hand side of your screen now, definitely the right-hand side of your screen now, you will see John Rahm's US Open winning what's in the bag. And it's very heavily Callaway influenced. That's obviously because John Rahm is a Callaway staff player. He's paid by Callaway to use Callaway golf clubs. And even in the interview after winning the US Open, he felt like he had to defend his move going to Callaway from TaylorMade. Now, I don't really understand that, because for me, has it made that much of a difference? I mean, if you're on Callaway's side, you're going to say yes. But if you're on TaylorMade's side, you're going to say no. And personally, I think John Rahm was always going to win a major or majors, no matter what he played with. What have we got here? 130 yards. Now, I have 5-iron, 7-iron and 9-iron in the Callaway Apex TCBs. Now, why are they called TCB, you may be asking? Well, it actually stands... Now, this is where I was going to try and make up a funny TCB, but I can't get it. It stands for Torque Cavity Back, and I think a lot of people may be surprised to see major winners use cavity backs, because cavity backs have always been known for forgiveness, being known for that perimeter waiting around here to give you a little bit more help. But when you look down at these clubs, yeah, that's not what it's about, really. You see, amongst other things, Callaway claimed that the Apex TCB irons are extremely soft and have a Torque-inspired design. So when I look down at this 9-iron and think, wow, that is a short blade length, that's why, because it's tour inspired Can I manipulate a little shot here and try and make a birdie? I didn't strike that very well, but I feel like I've gotten away with it. Just kick right. Just kick straight. Right, that's a missed green, but it's not that bad. It could be worse. Now, if you go on Callaway's website and read up about the Apex TCB irons, you will see that as well as the tour inspired shape and the premium soft feel, they also have precision distance control and optimum ball flight control, which is quite impressive if they work for everyone. 
I mean, it wasn't that bad. And I do think with a bladed golf club, that, um, that could have been a lot worse, to be fair, as well. Now, usually I'd put this, but I'm going to try and use these Callaway irons as much as I can tonight and see just how they do feel in different circumstances for different shots, such as this little bump and run. Just touching on John Rahm for a minute as well. I'm so glad to see him win after the palaver of him having to pull out of the last tournament. I think that's great for golf, I think it's great for sport, and I think it really is a bit of good karma for him because he took it really well, didn't he? Right. You'd never chip this, but... Turn, turn, turn. Oh, it's gone the other way. I didn't see that coming. Right, guys, you're going to have to ignore the putter because I spoke to John. He didn't want to send the putter kind of UPS next day. So the Scotties, they're not really his clubs, but it's not clickbait because they're the same. So sorry. Uh, I'm using the Callaway Chrome Soft X Ball, which... He also mentioned about in his winning interview. That's a par, we'll go, we'll go, next tee. So guys, make sure you do get in the comments below and let me know what do you think to these golf clubs, Callaway Apex TCB irons, and what do you think to a major winner using cavity back irons? Often a lot of people think, oh, the tall players, they must all use blades, all scratch handicapped must use blades. Really, when you get to a certain level, you just got to use bladed irons. When really, it's quite the opposite. You get to a certain level, and your golf means that much to you, you don't really want to be losing that much performance if you slightly miss hit it. Right, this hole we're going to hit the Callaway Epic Speed 3 wood. Now again, John didn't want to send his actual 3 wood over, so I've got the Callaway Epic Max 3 wood, which is a little bit bigger and a little bit more forgiving. It's probably going to suit me a little bit more. Again, they're not really his clubs, but shh. I do feel like that's going to really annoy some people, so I apologise if it does, but we have put a pretty good Callaway bag together, in all fairness. And this head looks quite big. Oh, that is so good. That's just so easy to hit. Could be too long, actually. Sit. Oh, we're okay. It's missed the fairway, I think. The wind crucified that. It's very much US Open style conditions out here tonight. The rough's up, the wind's up, and level piles generally a good score. I mean, in fairness, on that last point, level par is generally a very good score for me anyway. But I must say, I am very much enjoying using these golf clubs. And also, in fairness, with the Open coming up, who else can see John Rahm winning a US Open Open double? Because I definitely can. You like that camera angle as well, yeah? That's all me, that. That's all me. There's no fancy camera angle coming out here with me. Probably because no one will put up with me, to be fair, but... Hmm. Okay, so second hole, the wind has taken the ball a little bit to the right. It's really not too bad, and it does open us up to that left-hand front flag location. I do think that would be a very interesting debate, wouldn't it? How many majors will John Rahm win? I think it's got to be like... I think he gets to Rory. I think he gets to four or five. Maybe even... I mean, he could, he could win the Open, couldn't he, in a few weeks' time, but I suppose we shall see. We've got about 140 yards. This is just a nice nine iron once again and showing you a close-up of these the blade length is very short just like most Callaway Apex irons the top line isn't too thin which you might see on the Apex MBs and you really can't tell looking down at them that they are a cavity back at all until you move them that way guys what does everyone think to the screws in the back I'm going to touch on those in a minute after we put this one close, hopefully, kind of, probably not. Probably chipping again on the next one. That wind has got up as well. I'm not sure if this is enough club. Oh, that is so good. That felt insanely soft. Is it the club? No, short. Now, that felt good as well. Disappointing. It wasn't even that short as well. It was like a yard short of the green and it's come all the way back down the false front. False, false, false front. It's better. Hmm, not ideal. Like pitched there as well. Disappointing. So I have moved this to the side and what I'm going to try and do is play a low bump and run up this hill and get it to go just up that second ridge and come back down now the reason for this isn't that it's the percentage shot isn't that it's probably going to get me a lower score or even get me closer to the flag but it's gonna be really fun 
So that's what we're going to do. Come on, back down. Keep coming. Oh, not quite what we wanted, but I do feel like it was quite enjoyable. We're not bothered about that, are we? Let's just move on. I've missed those before as well. Pa! You see, there's just something for me about using your imagination around a golf course rather than sometimes going for the easy option. And I know if you are playing for a score, if I was playing a match against someone, I might even still do that, but if I'm playing in a tournament and I'm trying to keep score, I'm definitely not going to do that. I'm going to take the easier option. Right, speaking of imagination, drivable par four. And we've got Rambo's driver. It didn't send the actual one, but it's as close as you can get. Now this will actually play fairly difficult today because he's into a little bit of breeze, but I do feel like we're going to channel that inner John Rahm and he's going to attack it really, isn't he? So we actually have a Callaway Epic Max LS, which is pretty similar to what John Rahm uses. And we're going to have to take a bit of a Tiger line or a Rambo line. Is that a new thing? Could be, couldn't it? Oh, that should be perfect. I've not heard anything, and I think that could be a bit of a turnout for the books, really. Now, I must admit, I do very much enjoy using other people's golf clubs, be it one of my friends, be it my dad, be it Foxy, be it John Rahm, or any tall player where you can get hold of clubs in around their specs. I think there's something about getting out on the golf course and just trying stuff. And I know I'm a little bit of a magpie, I hold my hands up, but I suppose that's kind of what your hobby's supposed to be about, isn't it? I think that's very good, you know. I also think it's just about to rain, which really isn't helping my cause here at all. And as we walk around the corner, can we see the Callaway Chrome Soft X? Um, I can't see it yet. Could it be in a bunker? What's the perfect line? You've got to check, haven't you? I'm sure it's not, but no one would have believed it anyway. Is it long? It's a big hit if it has. Aha, there. So that must have pitched kind of like here and then obviously rolled out to there. Not too bad, I'm assuming that's, yup. And again, the, the bump and run isn't really a shot here, but we're gonna go with it because I'm gonna try and use this club as much as possible this evening in honour of John Rahm's victory. Exceptionally soft feel. Oh, this could be wonderful. Keep going. Keep going. Maybe I should play that shot more often. It's gone a bit long. But not bad. Not bad for a shot we're not really comfortable with. And that gives us this for a birdie. So let's imagine now that we are John Rahm. We're going to channel him again. That's twice in one hole. He'll be knackered. And let's imagine we're on the 17th or 18th hole of the US Open, because if you're Rambo, you birdie both of them to win. And let's roll this in. I've been putting well. So, it's in, it's in. So now we need to bury the next and then, then we win the US Open. Not really, but they're not even his clubs. They haven't got a full set. What are you on about? Guys, little side note to the video, I hope you are enjoying it, but if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. And if you have subscribed, but you've not rung the notification bell, also make sure you do, because a lot of people are missing out on the videos, even though you want to see them because you subscribed. So make sure you've just rung that bell and then you won't miss them. Also, a lot of guys have had some really nice kind words to say about the new clothing deal with Castor. So if anyone wants that, then do it now 20, just get your 20% off on that. So if you do want it, go and check it out. I'll link it in the description. Another par four. So again, not the longest hole here at Woolley Park Golf Club. I do feel like John Rahm would probably be going for this one at 351, well, almost, 
but I don't feel like I've exactly tested these irons out like I'd want to. So we'll tee off with the Callaway X-Forged UT driving iron and hopefully leave ourselves a mid iron, not a long iron, but a seven iron in hopefully. Play some kind of a little stinger. Oh, that is an absolute knuckleball. That should run and run and run. Wonderful. So guys, while we walk down this fairway, a few more words on what Callaway say about these Apex TCB forged irons. Callaway say that the Apex TCB irons are specifically designed for tall players and elite golfers. So, not me really. They're engineered for forged performance, shot making and control in a tour inspired forged 1025 player's cavity back with a classic compact look for the best players in the game. So really, it's kind of everything that you do want to hear if you are a better player, but you just want a little bit of forgiveness. You don't want to use the Apex MBs because you know you just shouldn't really be using them. And I think that's probably most people that do use them. I played the Brabazon course at the Belfry using those clubs. No, no, no. I enjoyed it, but no, no, no. Now that driving iron's actually gone a little bit too far for what I wanted. We've got probably around 110 yards in. So I'm gonna drop a ball just at the 150 marker. The flag's right at the back. That should play around 165, maybe 170 yards into the wind. We're gonna really try and step on a seven iron. Loft is 34, so it's not traditional, but it's by no means modern. And by that, I mean like 26. And we're gonna see just how it can perform. How far have we got exactly? says something about an iron review when you have to drop it further back, doesn't it? Have I lost my... Nope. The fine caddy is still here. That is 167 yards into a slight breeze. So worst case scenario, front edge. And if we absolutely don't lose your glove. There. And if we absolutely pummel this seven iron, it should get there with this loft. It should be around the right club. I think I'd be tempted to hit a little six if I had one, but we don't, so we're gonna go with this. John didn't send us the six. That's on it if it's there. Fly. Oh, it is as well. Ah, middle of the green-ish. We'll take it. Didn't sound, it sounded healy actually, but didn't feel it. So distance wise, it's always nice to know that a club does kind of spec up to where you would want it. This is by no means a distance iron, but it's just a little bit more forgiving than the MB. I feel like if I hit the MB there, um, Phil and Phyllis would probably have been in danger. I'm just gonna clip one in here from what's probably around 130. Again with the nine iron, I'm just trying to keep it nice and low because I do feel with irons like this, versatility is key. And that's why players like John Rahm will use these cavity back irons. Because yes, they get that bit of forgiveness, but they also get that versatility, that workability, all that good stuff. Well, it was low. Certainly wasn't great. Yeah, that was probably more me than the club, in fairness. Just not a very good shot, that one, at all. So, middle of the green there, we do have the seven iron that we played from around kind of one six five ish and that's not bad at all i mean that was a terrible shot the pitch shot but for the sake of trying to reenact john ram's us open win we'll go with the seven iron i think and see if we can roll one in it did put very well didn't he very well have to to win a US open right birdie time Turn. Oh, it's going to go the other way. Good pace, that's a par. Right, one hole left. Let's see what we can achieve. Try and win. I mean, let's be fair. We're just trying to make a fun video, aren't we? So let's see if we can make a birdie to finish on. So in fairness, I know we do have one hole left of this video, but I can kind of give you a bit of a round up on what I think about these irons. I think they feel great. I think they do have the element of forgiveness, which a lot of golfers do want. And I think actually John Rahm using them to win the US Open speaks volumes for players wanting that little bit of forgiveness. And hopefully that seeps through to the kind of everyday golfer. I'm not sure if I've taken the camera angle thing a bit too far there, but um, 
Anyway, hay fever is not going to thank me for that one tonight. Mm. I also think that it pretty much rounds up Callaway's range of irons pretty well to accommodate most golfers, which is quite important as well for... <coughs> I think I've got some hay in my throat. I need a cameraman, I think. But it is quite important for a brand to have irons for everyone so they're not just accommodating for the tour pros because that's like that much of who they're trying to appeal to. Right. Oh, that's the best strike. Yeah, that felt wonderful. Yeah, good. Very good. So guys, as you all know, your opinion means a lot more to me in these videos than my opinion. So get in the comments below and let me know, what do you think? Do you think these irons look good? Do you think they look a bit rubbish? Do you think you might try them? Do you think they're for you? Do you think they're maybe for your friend? Or would you potentially stay well clear of them and go for a Titleist, a Ping, a TaylorMade set? I don't know. I think I'd try them, definitely. Nice all-round feel and forgiveness and workability if you can hit it, not like me. However, that is a perfectly placed t-shot on this hole so maybe I'm doing myself a disservice there but I'm going to pay this one my undivided attention see if we can make one last good shot we have 146 so potential to make up for that last effort of a worked nine iron Oh, be good. Be good. Be on it. Oh, it is as well. Release. That is close. Come on. I think that's my divot. That was a bit of a John Rahm come on, wasn't it? He likes a f And I like these irons a lot. See that? That wasn't the best strike in the world. Again, it was a touch healy. And with this blade length, I didn't really expect to have the forgiveness that they do have. So quite pleased with that. I think looking down at them, they could be a little bit daunting in blade length. Not so much anything else. I think they have plenty of the top line and plenty behind the ball if you're worried about anything like that. But guys, I'm going to leave you on this last shot because that is absolutely glorious. And I don't even care if I make the putt. I mean, I do a little bit, but I've just really enjoyed it. Come on, Rambo. I've got to say, guys, I've timed this perfectly Be oh, because it's just about to hammer it down. So we'll roll this birdie put in, take our US Open trophy. Maybe John will send us one. Yeah. And then we'll go home and have some tea. Oh, you've smashed that through the break, haven't you? Right, well, that's why we make YouTube videos and not anything else. Guys, <laughs> all that. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed that video of me using the same clubs as US Open champion John Rahm, the Callaway Apex TCB irons. For me, definitely irons you should be trying if you are in the market for a player's iron with that little bit of forgiveness and a little bit of cavity style. Guys, if you've enjoyed that, smash that subscribe button below. Make sure you leave us a like as well. And also ring the notification bell because if you haven't done that, you might miss future videos. And if you want some Castor gear, do it now 20, it gets you 20% off. Apart from that, guys, I'm going to very much look forward to seeing you all at the same time tomorrow. Bye.